All right, so here we go. This is a FLIR camera. These things cost about two, $300. And you can see that heat plume in that chest on the dresser. So what you're doing is you're scanning the, uh, the, the key areas of any room for the heat plumes. And then we got this really, really cheap RF detector online. I really wanted to get the cheapest one I could find just to see if it would work. So it did as far as uh, RF uh, signals but you had to get pretty close. It'd be tough if you did not have a uh, direction on where to search ahead of time, but using that FLIR camera that gives us the heat plume, there's the heat plume right there, just a battery. These are all working bugs. We just threw them in different areas to show that this thing uh, actually would work as a, as a combo. So this thing, uh, the, uh, the RF detector was like uh, 40 bucks online. Uh, here we go through an extremely thick headboard. This is like two, three inch thick wood and uh, got the heat plume going through there. We know now to look over there, so pulled out the RF detector, and there it is, uh, alarmed on it. Um, that little coiled wire thing on there that actually is kind of a bendable thing you can stick up underneath uh, difficult areas to access under a car, and it actually is a magnet detector. So if somebody threw up a GPS uh, device underneath your vehicle, it would actually, and has, we've, we've tested it. Um, it would actually alarm because of the magnet. Uh, here we go on the dresser. Uh, so you're basically, again, just looking for key areas. Uh, you can scan walls, you can scan whatever you want, and you'll get the same type of heat plumes. A drywall would really uh, show up that heat plume easily. We're going through a lot of wood and stuff, which is a little bit more difficult, but you still see it, it actually works. Um, if there's no power there, uh, it would be tough for any sort of uh, remote bug to work. Uh, again, this is one type of, of bug, but these are very, very common. They're Chinese made. A lot of uh, installers like to use the cheap Chinese stuff because it's untraceable and they can leave it behind. Uh, and again, we just do these in drawers and other places we could, uh, we could you know, figure that it would, might be a good example. Uh, we actually scanned this house with our professional gear too. And this little cheap method here kind of stood up. What's good about this stuff here, you can throw it in a camera bag and everything looks normal and you can probably go through anywhere. And if for some reason they take your RF detector from you, you just lost 40 bucks, that's it. But it looks like a light meter or something. So they probably wouldn't even notice if it was in a camera bag with a camera or something like that. But the real expensive stuff that we use, you can't travel anywhere with that. You're not allowed to. You actually have to sign a contract when you buy it that you will not uh, take it out of the country. Uh, so this is a cheap alternative if you're traveling uh, and it kind of gets the job done. Might not be the best kid on the planet, but it works.